Hi, I'm Brian Barnett, Mayor of the City of Rochester Hills, and as always, thanks for watching. Well, if you're like me, you're saying one thing, finally. Finally sunshine, finally warmer temperatures, and finally a chance to get outside and enjoy some of the beautiful outdoors right here in Rochester Hills. Well, today we thought we'd take you uh, to one of our oldest parks in the city and one of our, our biggest and most beautiful, Bloomer Park, right here uh, just north of Bloomer Road where John R. Dead ends. If you have not driven into this park, maybe you've just seen the sign and never gone past it, well, watch for the next few minutes. We're going to show you some of the amazing recreational opportunities and some of the absolute beauty available to you right here in Bloomer Park. Come with us. Now, Bloomer Park is considered one of our more passive parks. It doesn't have the, the soccer fields and baseball fields uh, that uh, Borden Park has. But don't let passive fool you. There are tons of things to do here to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. If you're a mom or dad with some little kids or a grandma and grandpa, one of our best playgrounds uh, is right behind me. And right over here is our stone shelter, which serves as a great place for family reunions, gatherings, there's bathrooms here, and it unlocks the river and some of the beautiful scenery behind me. It's been around since the 30s, and this park's over 200 acres of absolute beautiful, beautiful terrain. Now, one of the things that's a uh, one of the more famous parts about our park are the famous Bloomer Park Stairs. Now we're going to go over there in a minute, um, but I promise you, you're going to find some fantastic people who are working pretty hard to climb the, I don't even know, 200, seems like if you've ever done it, a thousand stairs right here in your own backyard. So let's go check it out and see what people are doing today on the Bloomer Park Stairs. Well, the Bloomer Park Stairs are one of the places you'll find some of the best athletes in our town, and I think we have one here. Uh, who do we have here today? Christine. Christine, and where do you live? Rochester. That's fantastic. And you come out to the Bloomer Park stairs? Yes. Why do you come out here? Because it's a great workout. It's outside. What, what, how many, like, what's your routine? Up and down how many times? Well, I haven't been out here much over the winter, but we try to get in 45 minutes to an hour's worth. And a good workout? 12 to 14 times. Better than any uh, Stairmaster inside, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank Thanks you. for coming to our parks. Thanks. So as you can see, it's a great place to get outside, enjoy the beauty of, uh, of just, just being here in the woods, down by the river, and get a pretty good workout too. So come check out the stairs at Bloomer Park. One of my absolute favorite parts about Bloomer Park are the beautiful trails. Like this one, just absolutely nestled in a beautiful bluff. Clinton River behind me, and as the foliage comes in, you can imagine just how gorgeous this is in really all four seasons. So you're thinking about going for a walk and wanna just be, not be too far from home, don't forget Bloomer Park, it's absolutely spectacular. Well, our exciting tour of Bloomer Park continues here at the Velodrome. Now, if you've never seen this, you probably couldn't imagine this is right here in our community. In fact, it's pretty unique. It's the only outdoor velodrome in the entire state of Michigan. And every summer, this place comes alive with bikers, young and old, racing around this track at these crazy angles to try to get a place on that podium. Uh, we've trained many Olympic hopefuls here, and just in the summer, it's a fantastic, uh, unique experience to bring your family out and watch the races. There's lots of different kinds of races. Some are team events, some are timed events, but it's just a fun evening to spend uh, to either watch on these beautiful bleachers here next to me uh, or to get out here and try it. Um, we have racers from as young as six to as old as 85 that love this track. Another really unique aspect to Bloomer Park. told you that footage was crazy. Make sure you come out this summer and check out some of that racing for yourself. Well, this has just been a short tour of Bloomer Park, but there's so many other things that this park is known for. It hosts one of the largest cricket contests and matches uh, anywhere in Metro Detroit this summer. There's dog shows, family reunions, corporate events. The OPC has their giant summer picnic here. It's just a fun place to come and relax with a book. And residents of Rochester Hills, it's yours. You need a park pass to come on in. We have a special discounted rate for residents, but we're open year round and we'd love to have more visitors come out and enjoy this beautiful park. So put it on your to-do list. Make sure you get a chance to come out here and visit and learn all that Bloomer Park has to offer and let me know what your new favorite spot is here in this beautiful gem in our city's largest park. Thanks for watching.